Hey guys, Ashley French here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how we transformed my son's playground area. It was a really easy project and we did use rubber mulch. It was our first time using rubber mulch and I have to say we are big fans now of the rubber mulch. So I'm gonna show you how we did it. I'm gonna show you all the products that I used. I'll also have everything linked in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe because this is just one little part of our total backyard transformation that we've been working on all this summer. So let's get started. So here's a look at what we were starting with around the playground. It was just weeds and dirt. We picked up this brown rubber mulch from Home Depot. I started out with 12 bags on my first trip. I also got this heavy duty weed fabric here. It's a 50 foot roll and it was just enough. I also got this no dig edging, which I plan to put between the mulch and the grass. I did get some extra stakes for it as well, although there are some that come in the box. And then these are the little metal stakes that are gonna hold down the fabric. I did start by raking the weeds and attempting to pull them up, but it was a lot harder than I was anticipating. So I did honestly just give up on that and I decided to lay the fabric right over top. So I know using weed fabric is a very personal choice. Some people uh, do it, some people uh, disagree with it, but I've always been a fan of it. And I just rolled it out, used my utility knife to cut it to size and then pushed the metal stakes in all the corners to hold it down. And my thought process was that the weeds below the fabric hopefully will die off and we won't have to worry about those popping through. I got all the fabric down and that is a piece of black fabric there in the back. So the ground is covered and I moved on to the edging that I picked up, which ended up being very, very easy to install. Once I got it rolled out, I started by putting in a stake about every six or eight spots just so I could get it in place and figure out where exactly I wanted it. And once I got it laid out, I did go back with the additional stakes and I added more. I still did not put one in every single spot. Sometimes I would skip one, sometimes I skipped two, but I found that uh, that was more than enough and the edging was firm and staying in place. Then we got started laying the mulch. You'll see here that this was my first trip of getting mulch, which I picked up 12 bags. You're gonna find out really soon that that was not near enough for this space, but I simply just ripped the bags open with my hand, dumped them out, and then once all the bags were laid out, I just came behind with my hands and uh, spread them out. And something I'll say here, cause I had a question about this, but uh, we did not notice the mulch leaving any kind of stains or dye or anything like that on our hands. Okay guys, so we're back for day two and the plan is to get this rubber mulch finished today. As you guys saw, I did not buy near enough rubber mulch. And isn't that always the case when it comes to mulch? I don't know why we can't get it right the first time. I started with 12 bags, which you saw me lay here. We just picked up 15 more bags. So we're gonna see if we have enough, we're gonna get started filling the rest of this in and we should be about done at that point. This utility cart that we have made it so easy to bring the mulch from my car around to the backyard and I did link it in the description below for you guys. So this was our second trip of mulch and on this trip I picked up 15 bags thinking that it would be enough and my son was so excited thinking his playground was going to be done. All right, well the joke's on me because this is bag number 15 and I probably needed 30. I don't know what I'm thinking. So this is the last bag. I'm gonna spread it right here where it was a little like sparse and then I gotta get 15 or 20 more bags. So 
I still had to go back to Home Depot for a third trip. And on that trip, I ended up getting 18 more bags of mulch and that was in fact enough and so at the end of the day i bought 45 bags total of rubber mulch to do this playground area and i now know that there are mulch calculators online where you can put in the size of your play area and it will tell you exactly how many bags you actually need to buy Okay, so I'm finally done with the rubber mulch around the playground. Yes, it took me three trips to Home Depot to get enough. So if I did a project like this again, the main thing that I would change is I would order it by the truckload. I've heard that it's more affordable that way and obviously I wouldn't have to make so many trips. So I do wanna leave you guys with a few facts about the rubber mulch and because I've been getting some questions on Instagram. So one of the benefits of rubber mulch is that it doesn't deteriorate and break down like organic mulch. So this is here to stay forever and I don't have to worry about adding to it over the years. Another thing I liked about it is that it says that it's resistant to any kind of like fungal growth that you might get with an organic mulch. It also says that it prevents weeds from growing through which I obviously like um, we haven't noticed that it's any hotter than regular mulch so that hasn't been a problem um, overall we've been we're super happy with it my son loves it I will say it is more expensive than regular mulch uh, about twice as expensive but that was me getting it by the bag I have heard that if you order it by the truckload that it is a lot cheaper so I hope you guys enjoyed this long video of me trying to lay mulch. We have a lot more backyard projects that we're going to be sharing over the next few weeks. So I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the rest of this backyard transformation.